Oh, hello, my fellow sharks. Uh, Sniz here, and I am back from my trip visiting my girlfriend. So I f I don't know where to begin. Uh, today is January eighteenth. That is the time of this recording. And if you haven't heard, since this will be going up a day after I re recorded, the KMST the balancing patch was huge for Thunderbreaker. Absolutely huge. Um, the biggest things to note are just we got <laughs> skill delay decreases across the board. Let me see if I can find my fucking list of uh, talking points because I can't do this without just freestyling or uh, whatever I'm trying to say. Uh, TB got massive buffs. It's I'll probably include a few clips here and there about it while over this video. Um, but like it's it's staggering to say the least. I I'm literally speechless. It's a mix of excitement and disgust and anger. But uh, it's it's good news altogether. Uh, so the big thing, the biggest thing that they added was that Tidal Crash, our rush skill, is now a full-on animation cancel. Which, to put into perspective how disgusting that is, and like how big of a deal that is, as far as I know, I did a quick brief check over every skill in the game. There is no animation cancel that exists in this game that does damage that has no cooldown. Dawn Warrior is the closest thing that I could think of and that I could find that is an an a full-on animation cancel that does damage, but it has a cooldown. Now, the reason I say this is, is because if this makes it to life, which I highly doubt it will, because it's just too disgusting of a buff, uh, all of Thunderbreaker's playstyle best-in-slot combos, whatever you want to call them, change again. Like, there's no doubt about it that weaving whatever skill you're going to use, Annihilate, Thunderbolt, Tidal Cra uh, Typhoon, whatever you're going to use, is going to be weaved with, an, with Tidal Crash. And for some people, that is going to mean node changes. Nodes need to change that we're going to be using a second set of nodes if this does go to live. Which again, I highly doubt. It's just too disgusting. Alongside these, uh, the, the title crash animation cancel, which is something that we have been, Thunderbreakers have been after forever, like title crash as just an animation cancel. We thought Flash was an animation cancel at one point, all this other stuff. Um, with the fact that we actually have a authentic animation cancel now built into our kit is disgusting. And I don't think it'll make it to live because it's too big of a DPS increase. From what I've gathered, I have to give a disclaimer here. I'm not entirely positive that this is the that that this is correct, but the information I'm about to say is why I'm so angered at the same time as I am ecstatic over these changes. The Thunder Thunderbolt uh, got its delay changed as well, among multiple other skills in the kit, and. <laughs> Thunderbolt looks to have the exact same delay that GMS had exclusively before our nerf last February in GMS. So, <laughs> I am angered because I made a video, I was specifically told that the feedback was important and it would be passed along, and it took until a KMS developer livestream happened, and they were questioned by a KMS player why Thunderbreaker was so god-awful. Uh, yeah, uh, GMS continues to mean nothing to Nexon, uh, if you weren't aware, so if you're supporting the boycott or whatever, more power to you. Uh, I don't spend much on this game, and I haven't spent since, uh, I haven't spent, uh, that's just the end, end of it, like, I have not spent recently, and I'm not going to spend. There's just too many issues with the game, but that is another topic. So, the next question that I had personally is, how big of a DPS increase is this? And 
that is a question that we can't answer quite yet because we just don't have enough information. And I finished my daily here, so let me just get this. I don't even have to get this right. Um, the DPS increase is too difficult to answer right now. We do not know how large of an increase it is. But the theory crafting that we've done that is thought, it's going to be another reboot final damage change level. It's going to be that much of an impact. Meaning, Thunderbreaker went from bottom of the barrel, literally scraping the bottom of the barrel for DPS, to probably top 10. If And if not top 10, it, it's at least top 15 in overall DPS. And considering the other changes they added, which I'll go over in just a second, the class is way safer to play. It's not a re... It's not like a preemptive playstyle where you have to think about what attack might be coming at you next. You can play reactionary for once in your fucking life. There is the problem solving that we used to have to do, or what I like to refer to as problem solving, uh, to figure out how to do bosses when you see like certain patterns coming at you, is no longer as intensive as it is current. That is, again, if all of this makes it to live, as is, because I have no doubt in my mind that Tidal Crash is either going to absolutely lose all of its damage, which is the most unlikely one because there's a boost node for it, or a cooldown will be slapped on top of it, which is the most likely option. But again, that's just because Tidal Crash being an animation cancel is so fucking disgusting. Uh, so, on top of, like the delay nerf, or, uh, like, on top of, like, the Tidal Crash and Thunderbolt delay nerf, they also shortened, uh, Annihilate, they shortened Typhoon, they shortened Shark Sweep, I believe, like, almost all of our relevant skills, Shark Sweep's not that relevant, but almost all of our relevant skills are casted faster now. Uh, it's, it's what Strikers and Thunderbreakers have been wanting s forever. Uh, it's actually kind of unreal to believe that in the Explorer rework, we got as much love, in my opinion, if not more love, than Buck. Okay, we got we definitely got less love than Buck, but um, in terms of like raw damage output increase, it's more love than Buck. But in terms of like overall thought into the class, it's less, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because Buck was re reworked, remastered, whatever you want to call it, revamped almost completely, whereas Thunderbreaker just got delay changes and one critical skill became an animation cancel, which is unreal. Uh, I hope to, I will have a more formal video covering all the changes when this comes to GMS, so that'll be in six months, but so I won't have a what's new with Thunderbreaker video for quite some time. It'll be six months minimum. It'll be our summer patch at at earliest, I'm assuming, because there's, I highly doubt they're gonna force these patch of these balances earlier than that. But this is we again. It hasn't made it to live server yet. We don't know exactly what everything's gonna look like once it's in live. But currently, it is. It's kind of unreal that it's that this is actually happening, like. For some context, I have been treading the line, this walking this tightrope of do I quit Maple Story ever since the nerf happened. The only reason I stuck around and kept playing was because I wanted to I wanted to beat Black Mage and I wanted to liberate. For those that don't know, uh, January first, New Year's Day, I I liberated and it is it is done. It's the pot is not done, the flame is not done, the soul is thankfully done, but I've liberated. I am the first reboot Thunderbreaker to liberate in GMS. I think I'm the first reboot Thunderbreaker to liberate overall, except for maybe TMS, but I'm unsure. I know I beat KMS to the punch, though. Uh, it's... It's... That was, like, the, the last thing I, I had... I had my last goal I wanted to complete, and I completed it. So I've been, for lack of a better term, just kind of, you know, doing nothing. I've, I've been playing, but 
It's just doing dailies and then sitting logged in AFK for the rest of the time, maybe talking to friends, but like, that's about it. Like, I'm not really doing much. This, this patch, like, even if the, the title crash change is made into, it, it stays as an animation cancel, but like, even like a five second cooldown is slapped on it or whatever they want to do to it. This is still probably the most impactful Thunderbreaker. Okay, what is this guy doing? Anyways, it's probably the most impactful Thunderbreaker patch we've had since the initial Sickness Knight rework or revamp. Like, this is disgusting in terms of like how much damage increase it could potentially be. Like again, not nothing is in stone, but nothing is like. 100% solidified and known, but <laughs> I would be very surprised if it's any less than 30% final damage uh, increase, which is unreal. <laughs> it's weird to think that we're probably going to go from... We, we are going from... It, think it out. We are going from one of the weakest classes in the game. No party utility, literally, in my mind, no redeemable factors that are a part of this kit to a worthwhile class. Because, I'm sorry, Thunderbreaker is not worth maining. It was not worth maining. This news is like the, the, the sliver of light we needed. This, and like, yeah, that sounds drastic, but honestly, people who enjoyed it with the old Thunderbolt were we're barely playing a functioning class, too. It's just that we could kind of ignore it because things felt at least somewhat smooth. We still had complaints about the whole kit, but it was m much better than it was after uh, the delay change. But not to kid ourselves, that one Thunderbolt delay, even though it was like, what, 10 to 30% final damage decrease because of like wh when you used it and what cycle you used it in, uh, it, we were not as strong as like a Giga class back then either. We were mediocre at best. Uh, this just feels it feels wrong almost that like Thunderbreaker is getting this amount of treatment in the Explore Remaster patch of all things. I I really feel I owe an apology to all the other weak classes that I have. Uh, vented with, uh, that I've talked to, like all those mains I've talked to and vented with and has stood in solidarity with being a bad class with the Mercedes of the, the server, the, the Blaze Wizards, the Wind Archers, like AVs even, like <laughs> not great classes. And I, it feels wrong that I'm getting this sort of, like, Thunderbreaker's getting this sort of treatment when other classes still have it so much, so bad. I, again, I don't know if I can say they have it worse than Thunderbreaker. Because there's at least, a, there's some small niche that they might excel in that is worthwhile taking. But, it's, this, 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 this patch is just unreal for Thunderbreakers. I haven't looked extensively into everything else for the other classes, so I really can't comment on how much of a change or buff or whatever happened to Mercedes, a the classes I just mentioned. Like, I, I can't state how much of a buff or nerf or whatever happened to them is, but... This is the glow-up Thunderbreaker has been looking for. I, s I said at the before the year ended in the Thunderbreaker Discord that... Uh, last year was the year of the Jet. Jet went from literally a joke of a class to a more than functioning class within the span of a few patches. And I, there's a there's a Jet in my guild that I, I'm fond of, and I would always tell him it's year of the Jet, it's year of the Jet. The joke, the inside joke between us was like, when is year of the TV? And as New Year's hit, we, we made a joke. We, I said prior to New Year's, Maybe Year of the Jet is coming to a close. It is time for Year of the TV. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. And I think I got my wish. I can speak in circles for a bit longer if you want me to. I hope to have a more formal video out instead of a shark speak. Uh, detailing 
just another progression redux video out in the near future, but I have to move uh, video files off of my laptop, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But other than that, I'll I'll, pro I'll, I'll just leave you with this gif uh, of Thunderbreaker. It is insane what is on the horizon for this class right now. It's... 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 <laughs> It's disgusting, it's enraging, but thankfully, it, it makes me very hopeful and very excited to play this game again. This has been Sniz, and I'll see you sharks later.